What are some very creepy facts? Female mummies in ancient Egypt were always more decomposed than their male counterparts. They discovered that this was because male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner than female bodies. Female bodies were kept at the family home until they started to decompose in order to avoid necrophilia at the embalmers. After getting stung by a cone snail, you don't feel the sting for a little bit. There is no antivenin and it can be lethal. Treatment is basically keeping the victim alive until the venom wears off. One reason that crows and ravens are associated with death is because they would often follow armies as they march to battle. Being both carrion birds and extremely intelligent, they realized that a large group of armed men marching on one direction meant that there would be a tasty meal of corpses to eat soon afterwards. Blobfish in its natural habitat looks like a normal fish, but it lives so deep underwater that it doesn't use a normal gas bladder to keep itself balanced. Instead, it has a spongy skin that is slightly less dense than water which becomes damaged and bloated when fishermen bring it up too quickly. It's not really the ugliest fish. It has just experienced something worse than one of us being thrown into outer space. Between sea level and space, there's one atmospheric pressure of difference. Between sea level and 2000 feet underwater, their upper limit, there's 60 atmospheres of difference. When you happen to be murdered there is only an about 40% chance that your murderer will be found and punished. Locusts aren't a type of animal. There are conditions some grasshoppers experience. Many species of grasshoppers become locusts when they're too crowded, literally their legs rubbing together triggers the change. Once grasshoppers start to swarm they will join up with others, physically grow larger, change color, and eat basically anything they find. Most of a swarm will be born as part of the swarm, increased mating is part of swarm behavior. This is why it often seems like locust swarms come out of nowhere. Unfortunately, I'm not an expert and my Wikipedia level understanding was super lacking for a post with this many eyes on it. Here are some corrections that have been brought to my attention in the comments. A very small percent of grasshopper species swarm, and not all those that do undergo physical changes. Your garden variety grasshopper is probably harmless. Especially if you're in now where there's only one species that swarms and it's super rare. Grasshoppers who do swarm are often called locusts even when not swarming. It's less of a grasshoppers catch locusts situation and more of a there are a subset of grasshoppers called locusts who swarm. Thank you to everyone who pointed out mistakes in my original. If you begin to display symptoms of rabies you will go crazy and die. There's no cure. Your brain will slowly melt until you're dead. Serial killer Richard Chase took any unlocked door as an invitation to come inside. Crocodiles can gallop. Like a horse. I don't like knowing this so I am cursing you people with this knowledge as well. Fortunately alligators cannot. In the US if someone is kidnapped and not found within about a day then there is a 97% chance the kidnapped person is dead. Men who were hanged get a death erection, known as rigor erectus. Pretty awkward for the family, I assume. There's a parasite that enters a fish's mouth, eats the tongue and replaces itself as the fish's new tongue. A black mamba is the fastest snake which can slither at a speed of 12.5 miles an hour, 20 kilometers per hour. They have neurotoxins which are fast acting. The venom shuts down the nervous system and paralyzes the victim. Its venom is able to kill 10 people and it repeatedly bites. To add on to this, there is an almost 100% kill rate and can kill in 20 minutes. Tarantulas can swim. If you live to age 70 you will have shed around 105 pounds of skin, edit, because most seem confused. I mean over time not all at once that would be terrible. It wasn't until 1987 that the American Academy of Pediatrics declared it unethical to operate on newborns without anesthesia. Until surprisingly recently, the medical community felt it would be dangerous to give infants anesthesia and or believed that they didn't feel pain. When creating the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland, they couldn't create skeletons that looked realistic enough, so they used real human skeletons. They've since removed all of them except one. Ducks become cannibals due to boredom, of all fucking reasons. They can only be stopped by cutting off their mouths. It was once discovered that a fir tree was growing inside a human body. Artyom Sidorkin went to the doctors suspecting something wrong with his lungs. The doctors thought they were dealing with a tumor but turns out he had inhaled a fir tree seed which had sprouted and had begun growing in his lungs. Cockroaches have been recorded eating human flesh, both living and dead, as well as fingernails, eyelashes, feet, and hands. The American cockroach and German cockroach are more likely to bite humans than other species. Pretty sure Australian cockroaches do something equally creepy, but as an Australian who plans to sleep at some point in the future, I'm not going to Google it. There was a speech made for Apollo 11 if they were to die on the moon. 
people don't take their anti-malarial drugs when they travel because they hear bad stories about the side effects and they see native people in the areas living okay without taking pills every day. The truth is, populations native to malaria endemic areas have all passed through pretty intense natural selection for survival and have a host of genes that prevent them from dying or suffering the other worst effects. Also, most of the resistance is built up over time. This is why it's most common for children to die rather than adults. Whatever people have heard about the side effects of the anti-malarials, getting it is so much worse. I, fortunately, have never had it, but I study it as part of my work and people have told me about having it and they all say the same thing, it is so awful you can't believe you're even still alive. It comes in cycles, usually 48 hours, and each cycle is agonizing and brings you the brink of death. Sometimes it takes you, sometimes it spares you for another few hours until it starts again. And there are forms that, even if you clear the infection with drugs, it still remains dormant in your system and can come back at any time. Edit, I don't want to freak people out too much, there are drug combinations that can kill every stage of the parasite as long as there is no drug resistance. It's quite common after you die to burp a lot as you have more gas build up. Dead bodies can also sit up on their own sometimes. Most people smell different when they're awake. Mount Everest is covered in frozen corpses because removing them is very unsafe and time-consuming. They are easily viewed from the climbing routes and some are used as trail markers. Imagine being totally aware of someone performing CPR but you physically can't move or respond. Well that's what happens when you get bitten by a blue ringed octopus. You have approx 6 minutes between being bitten and someone starting CPR to keep your heart and lungs functioning to ensure you survive, all whilst being totally aware of what is happening to you. Neurotoxins are fun. There are upwards of 300 active serial killers in the world. Hearing is the last thing to go after you die. You just might hear the paramedics and firefighters call off CPR. A single tiger has killed over 436 people in India. Dolphins are fucking monsters and although this one isn't as creepy as other comments but gangs of male dolphins can trap a female, slap her around with their tails, and forcibly fuck her for weeks. Dolphins are fucked up man. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe.